Educating, informing, serving. Fact TV, keeping government honest. Seven, but it really is six. Uh, and uh, welcome to the public hearing on the town plan uh, version of February 4th, 2019. Uh, this is the plan that the last uh, public hearing was the one that we're going to deal with. Um, a couple of things. Um, we're going to try, and I say try, to go through this plan chapter by chapter tonight and try to finish it so that we can keep to our deadlines. Um, we're going to ask everybody to refrain from any kind of comment other than factual comment that you want to see changed. We're not looking for people accusatory or innuendos or anything else. This is a serious thing. The select board needs for the town to get this plan done. We are on a tight schedule here. I'm going to ask everybody who have any comments or changes to the plan to come up and speak so that you can speak to the audience and we can hear you. Um, the board has elected that we would like the audience's comment first from if you have any comments on the chapter and then we will make our comments and then we can have a dialogue back and forth. And the hope is, is that we can get through this entire plan tonight. And then the, the select board then will uh, vote and approve if they like the changes. And hopefully we can move forward. If we can't, then we'll have to start schedule another public hearing. And then I don't think we'll make the timeline. So uh, there's, there's no sense, you know, let's get go. let's get to it. Uh, anybody here at the board want to make any comments? Okay. All right, so let's start with Chapter 1. Um, we'll do the contents and the cover page first. But the, the first chapter, do we have any comments from the residents here in the audience of what you like or dislike or want to see change? And that, that's the introduction. Do we have any comments from the board on, on, on the introduction? I thought we were going to go all the way through. I thought we were going to go all the way through. Look down on everything. No, no, no. After the, we do after the chapter, we can make our comments. Okay. okay. Are, we, are you on the introduction or are you on chapter one? We're on, well, I guess it's introduction. I guess it's, I, to you. me it's chapter one, but it's not. It's, it's, it's introduction. Right. Right. Okay. <clears throat> um, I, I, I note that, as you know, uh, Chapter 12 on the version that was given to the select board was not complete. However, uh, Chuck Wise has sent to Bill this morning or this afternoon a completed version of Chapter 12 that we will be dealing with um, after the public hearing. Um, there's a caveat here. It hasn't been checked by the select board or, or, or by a Bill, the town administrator, but um, Chuck Wise has indicated that it is correct. So that's, we're going to go on that assumption, okay? All right, so does anybody have, so we're all set on, on chapter, on the introduction? Okay. So the next one is actually chapter chapter one, land use. Do we have any comments on chapter one land use from the residents in here? Okay. No comment? Okay. Do we have any from the board? Um, I think so. I'm looking for a place <coughs> to insert um, that all forestry activities in town will be 
uh, follow the acceptable management practices, which the select board talked about at our last meeting. And I, I thought it might be appropriate to put it on page 11, on number, make it a number four in goals. All forestry activities will comply with the Vermont Water Quality AMP 2019 manual for logging professionals. This is the this is the this is the manual. <coughs> Whoever attended the select board meeting on Monday, that this was discussed. This is uh, uh, published by the I guess it's the state. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and it's acceptable. Uh, it's all the, the, the proper way of, of doing a logging. It, it's um, <clears throat> one available if anyone wants to look at it. It's it's not uh, it's not just how to do the logging. It also uh, discusses uh, law enforcement if there's a water quality violation. It, it cites the laws. It cites the penalties. It um, tells you who the local forestry person out of the Springfield offices that enforces the water quality violations. Um, it, to me, it makes sense that we just say in Grafton, we will follow the state law. And instead of us trying to write a ordinance or a policy. Any comments to, to that recommendation for a change? And, and so that We'll all have to vote on these later. So this is, you want to insert it where, Alan? Well, I think the best place, and, and it may fit better someplace else, but on page 11, under goals, I would add a number four, and it would read, all forestry activities will comply with <clears throat> Vermont Water Quality AMP 2019 Manual for Logging professionals okay yes I have a question I'm, I'm, I'm stand up please stand up yeah so um, and, and why don't you come up I'll come up here still. sure so the the, the uh, last meeting I wasn't here but I, I did watch it on TV fat TV and um, so my understanding is at that time the board voted to go back to the town plan. Yeah, but that's not relative to chapter, to chapter one. No, no, it's, it's not, but can I just... No, no, please not. We need to go follow chapter by chapter to make comments. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I, I, have, I have a comment to make right now about the whole procedure here. So, well, if, if my understanding of the, of the law is if there are changes made tonight, then and uh, then the, you have to have another public That's meeting. That's correct. Okay, so you had, I thought you had said you didn't want to have another public meeting. We, we don't want to have, if, if we can't complete this and, and agree on all the changes, then we have to have another, another public meeting and then another one after that. And then you will not make the deadline. If we complete this plan tonight and the select board approves the, the, the changes to the plan, then we move on and the, and the clock starts to tick. Okay, well, my, uh, by, by the law, as I read it, is that, you know, if, if the select board makes changes tonight, if they, if they adopt changes to the plan, then you have to have another meeting yes. after yeah. this. Yes, that is okay. correct. Okay, that, that's because I thought that, you said... That is correct. That. Okay, so that you, you said you wanted to be no. through tonight. All right. Any other comments uh, on um, land use? <clears throat> yes. Come on up here, please, so we can face the Or you can stand right there, but just. Oh, you know my voice? I know, but come on up so we can all hear you and see you. May I, just for clarification, if the changes that you make tonight are not considered substantial or with respect to contest, could this be the final uh, meeting? And then uh, my question I, would be. I would, I, I, you're right if they're not, but I cannot believe that if there were no substantial changes, yes. I'm just asking that, and then I've been asked out, would you consider your change? But you can't approve it tonight anyway. I, I understand that. Okay. But then I would ask, would you consider your suggested changes substantial or not? I don't know. I okay. haven't heard all the changes yet. Okay. Yeah. You would. would. Okay. Yeah, but the forestry is a substantial change. I would yeah, mean. I just want to clarify. Okay, thank you. Okay. Uh, all right. So it's my understanding that once the town plan is approved, it will be uh, 
we will be able to amend it through the standard amendment process. So the reason I'm asking that question is because I have numerous comments from the original Planning Commission plan, but I don't consider them substantial enough to bring up at this meeting. I would rather bring them up at the amendment meeting. No, And I no. just want they to... Have, they have to be brought up tonight. They have to be brought up tonight. Yes. Okay, that's what I wanted clarification yes. on. Okay. Thank you very right. much. Um, any other comments? I have one um, on page eight. It talks, and it's, it's referenced in two different places, but the plan says there are three primary access corridors. There are really four. One is for Wyndham. So I think that needs to be inserted in there. <clears throat> and it, there's another place where it also talks about it, but, but it says there are three ways to get into town, and that's not true. There are four. What, where are you on? Page, uh, page eight, it said there are, there are three primary access. It's the, the paragraph two, above three. zoning regulations. Yeah. See it here. And uh, what do you want to say? Because you guys are going to have to make the change. You're going to have to. Well, we're going to have to say that there are four primary access uh, Grafton Village 121, Bellows Falls, Point East, Townsend Road, South, and Wyndham. From the, I guess, from the west, yes. It is 121. Okay. And, and then just simply add from window. Yes. Okay. Okay? Yes. I'm trying to write these down, but everybody makes some notes because at the end of the, of the hearing, when we have to approve all these, I will have them for the meeting if you, okay. when you need them. A minor edit suggestion on that? We Excuse me? Change from three to four. Stand up, please. I'm sorry. Thank a you. suggestion if you're changing it from three to four is I'd eliminate the word primary. Uh, this was debated on the Planning Commission. We discussed this idea of three or four. We said entrances. Wyndham, we didn't consider a primary entrance versus the other three. That's why I said three primary. But there are only four entrances. So to say four primary, it's a little strange sounding because there's not a fifth one to choose from, if that makes sense. There are four entrances to Grafton, and that might help clarity if you want to go with the number four. I mean, if you want to change the language, but there are four ways to get to Grafton. That's all I, I know. Right. Four is fine. Just drop primary. That's my suggestion. Yeah, okay, that's fine. Are there any other changes or recommendations on um, Chapter 1? Okay, moving right along. Chapter 2, Historic, Culture, and Natural Resources. Are there any comments? Okay. A, a question of process. You are going to have to vote as a board on changes? Yes. I would, might recommend you vote chapter by chapter because Otherwise, you're going to have to do one vote, and it's going to be yes or no. Is that what you're looking at? I'm just curious the process. The vote doesn't happen until the meeting. Yeah, no we can't, we can't vote in the public hearing. In hearing. So at the meeting, you're going to vote right. all the changes. And chapter yes, by chapter, we will vote, plan. yes, with the changes, yes. Or, or, or no. Corrections. Well, either, either they'll approve them or not approve them, either one. But we're going to do the same process. Yes, the same we'll process at the board and meeting. We'll do, go through again, and each change we'll have to vote on each change, right. chapter by chapter. Okay. So do we have any changes or any suggestions or changes on <clears throat> Chapter 2, Historic Cultural and Natural Resources? <clears throat> Nothing? Okay, so I guess we'll 
If there's nothing there, then we'll move on to the economy. Sue? So, um, so, Mr. Chair, I have a comment to make about the water section. Page number, and please. I'm, I'm a little confused because I can't find it. I can't get my page numbers to match. And on page 24, there is a number six continuing <coughs> study the water, wastewater quality. Uh, this is on the goals? And that in, that's, in, that's in the economy section, right? I'm in the right chapter? Yeah, but okay. so it would be on the policies, recommendations? But I don't see the narrative. Encourage local organizations? I don't see the narrative in Chapter 3. I had it on page 25 where it said something like the imminent problem of wastewater in the village best, uh, solve the water supply. Um, I just wanted to recommend changing that language a bit. I don't see that language. I'm very happy with the number six. I think that reflective of the work the water wastewater committee is doing. But 29. 29. Continues to study water and water. Oh, okay. But that's water. but that's Wastewater. in roads and transportation. It says recommendation for action. I, I, Mr. Chair, I'm just going to drop it because. Um, no, no, we need I'm to find very, it. I'm very comfortable, and I hope my, I hope the members of the committee who are here agree with me that the number six, as it's stated on page 24, is reflective of what we're doing and is accurate in the document. So forgive me for wasting it. Okay. Huh? Uh, I don't see number six. Yeah, yeah, I don't see it at all. That's why I, I, I want to make sure that we have the right thing. It's not here. July 11th plan. You don't have this plan. Yeah. Uh, That's the select so board's plan. Those are, th those are recommended. Oh, so the page numbers are different? Yes. Oh, yeah. Home plan is different. Oh, my so God. So it's number. Okay. So what number is it under recommendations that you have there, please? Number six. Encourage local organizations. So let me try to resolve this problem on my own computer and not waste the select board's time. Please, I'm sorry. Okay. So, do we have any additional comments or any any questions on uh, the economy, Chapter Three? Okay. Uh, we're on Chapter Four, roads and transportation. Do we have any comments on? Um, Chapter 4, Roads and uh, Transportation. Okay. Alan. On page 29, uh, number 12. <clears throat> of, of, of the... Okay, 12. Okay. Um, it talks about maintaining roads, ditches, bridges, etc. Mm -hmm. I'd like to add in, comply with... Grafton Town Road and Bridge Standards that were approved 7-18-2019. Want me to repeat that? Just one second. <clears throat> Seven, eighteen. No, without what's your verb? What's your verb? Adopted. Comply with Grafton Road and Bridge Standards. Adopted or just yeah. the date? Approved. Okay. Adopted. Yeah, you know. Approved. Give me the date again, please. Seven, eighteen, two thousand nineteen. <clears throat> Thank you. And have and then add to the end of that sentence. Uh, that would. Be fine. Or you wanted a new. I, I think you can just add it to 12 at the end. Um, okay, wait one second. And I have another one. Um, I would, if, if, I, if I would, if you want to put it in, I would add it as a new one because That's fine. it's more than just the road and bridge standards, is more right. than just ditches. True. 
So, so make, make it, it 15? Make it number 15. That's fine. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> so I got a number 16. Okay. A new one. Yep. Okay. That we should also comply with the Better Back Roads Handbook. That's the... <coughs> it's all the training in the book that uh, the road foremen get that they're supposed to follow. What do you call that now? It's the Better Back Roads Handbook. get a lot of our grants come through that. Okay. Anything else? No. Kevin, you have anything so far? I know a lot of these um, things that come from the state change. And I'm just, is there any wording that says um, we uh, comply with any changes from the state on roads and culverts? Maybe there's a better wording for it, but... Well, if you, if you, you have to comply with the, with the new road standards, and you have to comply with whatever the, the better the, the handbook is. Right, right. they changed the handbook. Both of those just put, and as amended. Yeah. Right, if they change the handbook, then you follow the new handbook. And, and also, our roads and bridge name might be amended. It was last 2013, and I have a recommendation. A recommendation for action number two. It says maintain the unpaved sections of Route 121 between Grafton Village and Wyndham as the gravel to reduce the desirability of development. I'm against that. I'd like to see it stricken. I don't see why we're sinking out one single road that in the entire town. Right now, the town of Grafton is uh, struggling for, gra for gravel. Gravel is, a, is a, and if somebody comes along and wants to pave it, or some development comes along up there at some future date and wants to pave it, and we're going to say no. It makes no sense to me at all. It's restricting the town and the government. So we'll discuss that. Yep. Okay, but no other comments. We're in energy. Susan? Mr. Chairman, I request your indulgence uh, because I now have my computer squared away and I'm on the right version of the plan. Okay. And so. Um, you want to go backwards? Yes. What so, chapter? Uh, the, the version of the plan that has the water language that I would like to but make. Which, a which chapter is that, though? Is on page uh, uh, 28, chapter. Cha chapter 3, The Economy. Okay. And it's on page 26, number 14. Uh, it would be on 27 in your pages. Explore, solu explore yeah. solutions to potential wastewater problems. And I would like to recommend substituting that language with the language mm -hmm. in the July 11th draft, select board draft, which reads, continue to study water, wastewater quality in the village to continue the good quality of the current water and disposal systems and explore future needs, including the economic viability of the village and solutions if need be. Utilize grants available for such infrastructure necessary to meet those standards. So uh, my recommendation is to substitute the language in the July 11th draft. Okay, what's the number in July? Number six, page twenty-four. Number six. Number six, page twenty-four. Yes. We've gone through four chapters. Okay. Oh. I thought we have something else you wanted to do with chapter four. We need back to one, two, or three. I got nothing substantial. If we can wait just a second.
Yes, Dan had a fire. Two. Two fires. Two. Um, Bill, can, can we, we regress a little bit? What, what did we do in Chapter 2? What was the recommendations? Or is it when you get a chance? So that Dan can be up to date. So are you going to square away, sir? Yes, thank you. Thank you for your consideration. Okay. No, I don't. Yeah, Dan has something, but I want to, I don't, I don't. Ms. Dorf and Walter, you had nothing. had nothing. You had something? Yeah, I got something. Uh, it's on page 16 of chapter 2. Uh, under forest resources. Uh, <clears throat> I believe this is where it would go. I'd like to insert the acceptable management practices. We, we did that. Oh, we did it. We did it in chapter um, one, was it? Or chapter two? 11. We did it in uh, chapter one, uh, adding uh, the AMPs as a goal as number four. Oh, it's a goal. Yep. And then the other one on page 18 on chapter 2 under mineral, mineral resources. I just have a little that the town should consider purchase of land to secure gravel for roads. And Page 18. Page, 18. page 18, mineral resources. Yes, good question. Yes, Dave. As he spoke that, it sounds like it might better fit in the recommendations. It, it, it could well be. Okay. Rather than a that's, description. That's, that's fine. I, I don't have a problem with that. Okay. Where do you want to? Now, the recommendation is fine. Okay. Please uh, say it again. Yeah. 13. It says, uh, town should consider purchase of land to secure gravel for roads. Now there may be better ways of doing that. But. Okay. okay, we can decide when they call this. Yep, that's fine. We'll just get into the meeting. Yep. Long as it's long as we can deal with it. Yep. Okay, you have anything else? Not under uh we're, the, the next chapter we're dealing with energy unless you have something you need. I have nothing. All right, the next chapter is energy. Do we have any anything on the energy chapter? Uh, I've got two. Well, let's let, we're going to help okay. that go for it. Absolutely. Okay. Perfect. Do you guys have anything that you want to see changed on the energy chapter? Okay, Stan, go ahead. Okay. Uh, well, thanks. Yes or no? I do. Uh, the, in the original town plan, it said. In the original plan commission version, it said we spend $362 million a year on energy as a town, and I wondered how that was possible. Can't hear back here, though. Can't hear anything. No, speak up loud, Susan. Just stand up and speak okay. to the... So, Please. on page 43, sentence 1, with total annual energy expenditures in the town of approximately $362 million, there is considerable opportunity for savings from various energy conservation and improved efficiency measures. Uh, for a town of 600 people, 362 million seemed like a lot of energy expenditure. Maybe it is that, but it struck me as a high number. Address this where the, yeah. these numbers came from. Yeah. You are too. I'm trying to find B43 scores. So. Yeah, you were set to figure out which one you're talking about. 
conservation, conservation and efficiency yeah. strategies, yeah. the very first sentence in that paragraph. It's the last last page before the goals, policies, and recommendations in the energy chapter. The overview of this chapter is probably the best place to start with. There were three pilot towns that worked with the Wyndham Regional Foundation and their resources. They got a big grant and they put all the people together and they wrote their energy plan. All three of those energy plans were were virtually identical, word for word, except for a whole bunch of charts and, and data and so forth. The state then sent to us all three of those, which were word for word, again, about the same, and a massive spreadsheet that had all the data that I, nobody else, so I mean, there's one of those, it's a cut and paste kind of thing that you've got to fill in each chart, create each graph based on our spreadsheet that the state sent us. Um, that number where it came from right now, I couldn't tell you. Give me a half an hour in the paperwork and I could. Um, my guess is it's transposed wrong from the original data source. About a half a million. And it could be just a decimal point and I'm not sure. I have another version of that section and the number there is 2.36 million. Huh? And I believe that that's the correct number. That's what the plan says, 2.36 million. No, no, you said 362 million. No, it's 2.36 million. 2.36 million. That's good. That's good. Yeah, so 2.36 is the correct number. That's the version. It's all these different versions. Do we have any other comments on the energy program? Thank you. Yes, yeah, I'm sorry, that number doesn't need to be looked at. It's you know, 2.3 million. That means each household is spending something around $400,000 a year on energy. I'm sorry. No, that, that, that not so. I, I mean, these are, these are the numbers that the Planning Commission gave us, and we have no way to verify it, so. I do, though. I have the spreadsheet, and I can go back and verify So is that correct? I can't do it right now unless you No, but I mean, is that, is that number that each household is spending $400,000? I mean, is that... It's four thousand. Serious question. It's four thousand. Yeah, <laughs> works out to be four thousand. Just 4, 000. under four thousand. Yes. Okay. All right. Well, that's more. That's more reasonable. Oh shoot. <laughs> <laughs> any any other comments on the energy program? Well, that, that's actually a good chapter. It's yeah, go ahead, Stan. Perfect. All right. I've got I've got two on that on. Uh, Chapter 5, page 34, it's the third paragraph down. It's actually the last sentence. Uh, it says, this vote is a strong indication that Grafton residents are opposed to utility and wind projects. Uh, I guess I'd read that. Um, I just don't think it's necessary for it to be in there. It says before that that it was voted down. And I, I just don't feel as though it's necessary to have that sentence. So you want to remove? It's a the vote is a strong indication that Grafton residents are opposed. Then on page the very next page, third paragraph down again, it says again as previously noted the town voted against the proposal of, of the site. That's just a repeat of before, and I I just think. It's not necessary. It's just a repeat of something. Do so you want to strike it out? I want to strike it out. Give me that other site, please. Uh, page 34, I mean 35, like the third paragraph down, right under wind resources. OK, that's the one I did pick up. Where's the other one? OK, it's on page 34, third paragraph down, last sentence in the third paragraph. This vote is a strong indication that Grafton residents. OK, then, then it must, we must be having it. Is there another, where's, what's the other one? Under what, like, oh there, it's under wind resources? Yes, on page 35. And where, what do you want to take out? Uh, as previously noted, the town voted against a proposal on the western border site. And you can take out that sentence, that do some Yeah, down. I just think it's a repeat of what was said before. I have that as page 36. We're talking about the same thing. Yeah. Okay. 
We got a hand up here. Yeah, we said that. Comment. So he, he stands, stand up, please, please, not to He stands suggestion about striking that um, sentence. So <laughs> those those of you and those of us who have been on the planning commission know that the planning commission spent a lot of time mm -hmm. and put a lot of thought into that particular phrase. And uh, it did not just kind of appear there. There was a lot of discussion. And, and the discussion, and the reason why it was felt that this kind of statement should be in there came from the claim that some made that the Iberdrola project vote uh, only implied that the townspeople did not want the Iberdrola project versus that it indicated that the town in general did not wish industrial wind. And, and the planning commission really put a lot of thought into what was the meaning of that vote as far as the town plan is concerned. And, and the town plan has to make a statement uh, to the public, public Utilities Commission and to possibly any developer what the townspeople really think. And this sentence is what the Planning Commission came up with as a kind of a, um, um, yeah, put it, putting in one place the sentiment of what that vote stood for. And so, therefore, it would seem to be important to keep that sentence in that is based on on the townspeople's desires as expressed by the vote and the interpretation that led to uh, industrial wind not being desired by this town. So this this is a key sentence in in that way. That's what the Public Utilities Commission would be looking at. What does the town, what does the town desire? Well, that's not clear from the preceding sentence. No, the, no, the preceding sentence indicates the number of the um, people voted. The interpretation of what those numbers mean beyond that one particular project. This is where the Planning Commission, after a lot of thinking, and really a lot of thinking, came to the conclusion that going beyond those numbers for that one particular project vote, this vote indicated that the town overall does not want industrial wind. Bill, would you mind displaying that on the Screen, please. The topic that we're okay. uh, what I want to say is that this is more appropriate for when you're going to vote on it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah and, I, and we're getting bogged down. Yeah, so I, right. we, we'll take your comment and, and we can have this discussion again, Lisa, when we get to this thing. Okay. I can put those back on the screen, but before you leave energy, I'd like to ask Dave Cobra. Dave Cobra, in, at, in the energy check, the select board added that note at the very beginning of it that's there, that cites where all this data came from, and that information came from uh, Marion Major. Was she the one that helped with the energy? She's the one that guided us through it. Um, she understands the spreadsheets and the data sets um, in that piece, but she's not the one that obviously created the data sets. I don't know if it was ANR and a and a combination of others that created the data okay. sets. She wrote this paragraph for the select board because there was no citation of the data where the data came from there was just recite reciting in your in the language plan it just recites to as the data shows or something like that and there was no site so she prepared this site for the select board is that a good thing to put in the, the beginning of the chapter so people know where the data came from or is it not helpful you ask them my opinion, I'm just a citizen here tonight, so. I don't represent the Planning Commission. Um, I, any improvement in clarity I think is better, sure. But is there another citation to where the data came from in the plan? I didn't. I mean, you're asking me now off the top of my head from a year and a half ago, I honestly can't tell you that. 
I mean, I can do the research if you direct me to, and I can make verify all the data sources. Can anybody, can anybody verify that? Any comment from the sanitation member? Yes, Ron? My recollection is in that chapter, there's not really a good set of sources or references, so I think uh, Bill's comment and suggestion is important because you need that. Okay. Uh, All right. So, Bill, you want to note that? I would. I would ask that uh, when you consider this, you consider adding this note at the beginning of the energy chapter, so it explains where the data came. From. Okay. I, I would say that I have great respect and faith in Marion Major, a uh, highly intelligent person, very organized. And if she's the one that came up with that, we didn't add extra paragraphs, charts, graphs, data to this chapter. It was a cut and paste from her stuff. And, and so all the data came from her resources. And if she wrote that, that probably covers it all for this chapter. Okay. Any, uh, com any other comments on the energy chapter? Well, I have one, uh, only one, um, on page 46, uh, H, post no idling signs at the public facilities and businesses. I am absolutely opposed to that. I don't see how it can be regulated. I don't see how you can force the Winter Foundation, um, the uh, store, or any of the other businesses in town to post uh, stuff, stuff on their buildings. And I just want to point out, if you all remember at the town meeting, there was a proposal to put the speed signs in, and everybody didn't like the speed signs because they said it doesn't, it's not, Keeping, it's not in character of a small village. Well, to have these signs posted all over the village is not in character. Either. Which page was that? Excuse me? Which page? 46. 46 H. Okay. It's recommendation for action. Number four, transportation. The letter H. I have it over on uh, page at the top of 47. I have yeah. it. Thank you. Any other comments on the energy chapter? Oh, very tall. Oh, that age. Dude, there's no other comments? Different age. Anybody? Okay, let's move along to Chapter 6, Education. Any comments from the audience on any changes or anything you don't agree with? I'm going to make a comment if I'm allowed to and recommend not a change. I'm going to tell you what the story is on this, just so you're clear. This is education. If you're following education, this is changing monthly, and so the narrative is not accurate. I recommend you don't bother changing, because it was mentioned. We're going to be starting to go through this, and whatever change you make, by the time you publish it, it's going to change again. So uh, rather than burden you with that, be aware that the, 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 the goals and everything else align with what we think are right, but the actual data on the ground changed three times since we wrote it and since we gave it to you in January. So yeah, I, I want to make that clear. I don't think anybody disagrees. It's just that okay. there's something in here that, that needs to be changed or has questions. Yeah, and I have no recommendation for any change. Okay, right. that's fine. Anybody in the board? Well, should we put like a little clarifier at the beginning? Something to summarize? As written in December 2018, the kind of statement to make it clear. Right, yeah. the education is I don't think you can do that. I mean, I, I mean, I could, I guess, but it, it changes. It's going to change again if there's, if depending on the ruling of the Supreme Court. So I mean, it, it's going to change, and every week, maybe. Who knows? And that's our challenge is to figure out how to write that so it has a a life more than a month. Right. And, and I think it can be done. We've got to look at it. Just so that everybody is aware, the town plan that we are hopefully going to approve tonight. It's not a document that lasts eight years. It's a living document. It can be changed monthly, weekly, daily. You just got to go through the process. But so I would hope that the planning commission would review this in a year or two or whenever and say, okay, <laughs> we need to make a, a recommendation and then we'll go through the process. Uh, it is a living document. So, uh, you know, and obviously if you pass it tonight, it, it might change tomorrow. I mean, who knows? Any other thing on the education? I guess not. 
Okay, the next is Chapter 7, Housing. Do we have any discussion or changes or recommendations from anybody on the housing? I do. There is, the plan is silent about senior housing. It does not address site senior housing at all. It talks about low income, it talks about other things, but it does not talk about senior housing, and I think that needs to the be. The second will address it. Yeah, but I think it should be in the plan where it says um, there is a section here on actual housing. Thing. I mean, if you want to put it there, that's okay, but it has to go somewhere, I think, because there is a need for senior housing. Whether it's going to happen or not is an issue. What does senior housing mean, if I can ask what it means? See what senior housing is? People who are in their, you know, I don't know what the age is, 60s, 70s, who are uh, aging <laughs> population that want to that want to downsize, they want to go to a place, to, but they don't want to go into a nursing home or... But non-independent living might be a definite... No, 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 this is, no. This is independent living. This I mean, not to be trick, but all of us are in senior housing. Would that be transitional? <laughs> no, 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 I'm not talking, I'm talking no, no. about actually where the town, could, somebody could build two, three, or four units that four people could buy and sell their home and buy them. Not run by any organization. It's not a step program where you, you live and then you need assistance and then you don't need assistance. This is just senior housing that could be constructed in the town. There is a move afoot to look at this. There are some people who are in interested in, in looking at some sites, but I think it'd be be amiss if we didn't mention senior housing in the town plan somewhere. That's my only Well, we need verbiage. We can't just have an idea. Well, then the second sentence touches on that in the introduction, and then page two that? also captures that. Um, but if you want more detail. Where is that, Chris? Uh, right at the beginning of housing, the second sentence. Um, it's a benefit to the town when residents um, and their children are able to buy and rent a home in town, and elderly residents are able to remain in the town with their families. Yeah, that would be that would be fine with me as long as we had something there to affect the senior housing. I don't know and where you are. Um, the top, the top of the housing bill. Oh, I'm sorry. It's, <laughs> thanks, Ron. It's halfway <laughs> down. Right. Halfway I'm down. Ron Jackson lost. Okay. Okay. Yeah, first paragraph. Second sentence. Last clause. Yeah. Okay, and what would you put railroad addresses in the town? Yeah, something about secret housing or something. I mean, elderly residents are able to remain in the town with their families. Yeah, to Township with their families and friends. Is that enough? No, I think it's a little more stronger than that. Well, then put something in recommendations or something. Well, that's fine with me. Okay. Explore. Possibilities of constructing senior housing. That would be good. I would. I, I could live with that. So this could be recommendation three. Right? Yeah, be, be recommendation number three. Correct. Chapter 8, Recreation. Do we have any comments on recreation? Please. On page 59 is where I have it. The paragraph begins, Culture and Recreational Assets. Um, in the middle of that paragraph, it refers to the White Church. The White Church is been, name has been changed to the Grafton Community Church. What paragraph are you on, sir? Last Yeah, but I mean, we can, it's not substantial. I don't see where that is. Uh, at the bottom, right? Is that last paragraph? Oh, okay, yeah. So it will be called the Grafton Community Church? Yes. Of Grafton or in Grafton? Grafton Community Church. Right. But everyone's going to know them as the White Church and the Brick Church. 
I mean, I, I understand. <laughs> Maybe you could put in parentheses that white church. Okay. Thank you. That might be helpful. That'd be good. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Any other comments or recommendations on Chapter 8? Recreation? Okay. Town Government and Services, Chapter 9. Yes. Can, can stand sentence, up, please? The second sentence is uh, additional special town meetings have been called in the past. So where, where, what page are we on? You're on 61, yes, right at the second. beginning, second sentence. Additional special meetings. It goes on about chosen by Australian ballot, but other items on the, you have warrant. That should be a warning. Town meeting has warning. They don't have a warrant. Warning. Okay. I'm sorry. Should be warning, warnings instead of warrant. So, you know, it's the third line down in the first chapter on the town government. Oh, on the warning? Yeah. It's warning, it's not warrant. Okay. Thank you. Do we have any other changes or recommendations on uh, town government chapter 9? Um, okay. On page 63, first paragraph, it talks about the difficulties, uh, time-consuming training that is required to become an interior qualified firefighter. And somewhere within that paragraph, I would like to see something about, uh, I'm trying to think of how to say this, a volunteer fire and rescue potential for future staff. How can that happen? I mean, fewer and fewer people are stepping up to do this stuff. I'd like to see it state something about how the town is going to address future staffing for both fire and rescue. How about if we put that into recommendations on 67? Sure. Excuse me? How about our goals? Well, goals. Because it's more of a goal you want to achieve. Either through the paragraph or, I just think right now that is, that's, that's a really important. Uh, okay, if you're going to put under goals, we want to, where do we want to under protective services? services? Yes, I think that's where it should go. Sure. Talks and about we'll, the rest of the rest of the squad. Okay, and add number seven under protective services and change other to eight. And, and then, uh, uh, what do you want to say? Uh, something to the effect of look into, that's not good wording, but something to the effect of look into how research uh, research the possibility or some of high fire and rescue uh, potential for future staff. Uh, I think it's not that research solutions for, for recruitment. Yeah, for recruitment. For future uh, recruitment and staffing. <coughs> we'll know what you mean. Yeah. Okay. Number seven. Okay. The other one I've got, well, actually, I've got three on that page. 64, fourth paragraph, it does indicate that the Grafton School serves as a certified Red Cross shelter. Uh, I don't believe that's no, it's not right. accurate. No, it doesn't. Um, that, back to yeah, that, that is not correct. It, it says that it will, which serves they're talking about the Grafton School because of the generator, and that was why the generator was put in. Uh, it never got certified as a Red Cross shelter. Okay, I think what we should do is take out the next sentence. Just take out the next sentence. The next sentence. Which is this generator 
or you might leave. Yeah, them, okay, yeah. Or just at the graduate school and, and then just put a period there. Yeah, that's just fine. Put a period just there eliminate that. that sure, eliminate that sentence. And then lastly, and current and the. Uh, oh, I'm sorry. Uh, let me see. Uh, just that phrase, addition, uh, is at the school. Then just put additionally, that, that's the. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, okay. Yeah, just those few words. Yes. Yeah. Which serves as certified break process. Right, because I don't think that's accurate. It isn't. And the other one's And on page 67. I believe it's uh, sentence 17. Sure, it's year round access to property. Yeah, I, I don't think that the town should ensure year round access to properties is maintained by the owners. I would think recommend that access be maintained by property owners. I don't think that we can ensure, if somebody doesn't want to plow their quarter mile driveway to their house. I don't think it's a town problem. Mm -hmm. I think you should recommend that it be done, but to ensure that it's done, I'm not sure that you want to do it. Right. Encourage. Or encourage. Or encourage. Yeah. Recommend or encourage. Mm -hmm. Ensure to me means the town you're going to go exactly. tell each individual that you have your right. Any other changes to? Um, I got no, no, no. That's it. Anything else from audience here? No. All right. Uh, flood resiliency, chapter ten. I got minor changes. Do we have any, any changes on chapter 10? Thank you. We don't have anything. I have a I have a change on 16. I, I'm not sure. Um, I like the, the insertion of the fluvial erosion hazard areas. I don't like that. I don't like that. What that represents. That's 75 number 16. That's my recommendation that we take that that fluvial erosion hazard areas out. Just the uh, fluvial. Hazard, uh, move the erosion hazards out. Yep, just that. Um, wait a minute. So, number 16, the town will regulate. That's where we are? Mm -hmm. Yes. Oh, take the move the erosion hazard there. Okay. not have an answer to my question, uh, but that looks like one of those very carefully lawyer wordsmith ones that they wanted all that terminology, and I'm not positive it is or not, but I had never heard the term fluvial erosion until I got on this committee, and there are places they wanted it, so I'm not saying that's not one of those places, and I'll do my best to look into it. But, uh, okay, well, we can deal with that. I can, Eric. Uh, I can check that, I think. I think I have that plan here in, with uh, John Bennett's uh, suggestions, and I can see if he added that back in. <clears throat> yeah, right here. Um, and that would be, let me just, because this has got different pagination. Will be Butter Resiliency 69, 73. Joe, would you mind sharing with us why uh, that fluvial erosion hazard, which I don't even know what it means. It, 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 it's it's just another way of regulation, and I don't like it. It's just another, it's 
It's another word that you have to deal with on this whole river corridors and, and, and all this other kind of stuff. And I, I think it just, you know, just to me, it's, I, I think it's too much. Um, you know, because it says, um, John says that should be back in. If you're looking here on the screen, you can see number 16. He would he wanted all that back in in order to meet the fluvial hazard standards. Now, I would, if I can just take a second on it, it says you will regulate it to make sure uh, development does not exacerbate flooding and fluvial erosion. That does not mean you're going to regulate it in, with the river corridor regulations. It's just going to be that you're going to pay attention to it and um, uh, uh, not allow people to do something that would put themselves in danger. Okay, well, if John Bennett makes a recommendation, I, I agree with but him. He, he says we have to put it back. But I don't, I don't have a problem with it. Just take it out. <clears throat> put it back in. Yeah, put it back in. <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> Any other comments on, on the um, chapter 10? Okay. So now we move to chapter 11, which is Grafton's, Grafton and its neighbors. Do we have any comment on that? chapters, and I'm just pointing this out to you because I can bring his chapter 12 up, and it has G, 1 through 7, because it's broken down, the goals are actually broken down, the goals, all of these are broken down by these various um, sections, and in his uh, report, uh, they are not broken down by sections, but well, let, me, let, me, let me finish this up first. Under this G, you see how each goal, it starts town government goal one, then it says finances goal one. In the planning commission's uh, chapter on um, government services, let me get up to it. It, uh, it continues the numbering through, it, okay, here it is. So you can see it continues the numbering through the goals and so on. So it starts town government goal one, protected services is three through six. You guys added a seventh, but three through six, and then uh, 
other services seven, and the same with the policies, they're one to eleven, and so on. In his chapter twelve, and I asked him about this afternoon because he had mentioned it before to me. Uh, his chapter twelve, under number twelve. When you get to town government, you see how he goes, just goes through. He doesn't break it down. That's the only difference in in his reporting in, in this fashion. I just want to let you know, when you look at it, you're not going to find the chapter. I don't see that that's a big deal, because it's the whole idea of chapter 12 is you want to know where they met certain goals and policies, and this tells you where you met them. Okay. Okay. Well, we can deal that's with that. That's the only difference I've, I've, I've seen in the Yeah, are you, are you okay with Chapter 12, the new revision that uh, Dr. Davis? That at least I can be put in and then revised uh, somewhere? No, I'm not okay that. with it, but yes, I hope you move forward. You're not okay. <laughs> Um, full disclosure, looking at Mr. Cameron and everybody else, this debacle is on my lap, not the Planning Commission's. You guys saw the email. December 11th, the Planning Commission a year ago approved Chuck's Chapter 12. My responsibility was to make that replacement into our master town plan, and I did not. It sat on my laptop, and in doing a forensics, all I can guess is at some point, some other file got saved over it. Um, as you know, I then sent another file, and I guess I don't even know where that came from. Is that something that Bill created over the summer? Um, this file that I have now that I got via email from Chuck that you're talking about, I cannot verify tonight because I've been busy. I just got it this afternoon. While you guys have been talking, I've been sitting there and I can tell you the first three or four, right? I can't tell you the rest of it right now. So I apologize. That looks like the one we did, but I can't verify it tonight. So the best of the knowledge you think it's okay. We can put it in. I'll go with that statement. <laughs> And to think, I want to thank Dave for that. And if the first four or five are right, it's probably all right. Yeah. Okay, now we've gone through all the chapters. There are two issues, two other places that we had to deal with. None is the front cover. Um, any comments on the front cover of um, Wyndham Foundation Bridge on the town plan? I have. Uh, it's exactly that. Uh, I think there should at least be a town property on the front cover of the uh, of the town plan. Uh, the, obviously, the bridge that's on there is it, it's a privately owned bridge. Uh, to me, it doesn't matter. When the select board did one, they had a pretty nice picture of the town hall, which certainly works for me. Or we do have a, a, a do has have a, a historic cover bridge uh, that that could be on there. But in my mind, it, it, as long as it's a, a properly owned town property, uh, I, I think it's fine. So, no. so, you, so you want to say put the town hall on there? The, the, the picture that's on the other copy is... So just say town hall, right? Yeah, the picture of the town hall that was on the select board copy, I think, is, is, is good okay. for, the, uh, for that. Um, there's another issue here, and that is the uh, Skip Lyle report. Any comments on that one? Chuck? I mean, Ken, sorry. Um, I really think this should be omitted from the whole report. Uh, this sounds like a mini novel based on you know, facts involved. There's, it's just basically his personal opinions. He's not even on the planning commission. He's not a doctor in these fields. He's got no credentials to these fields. I really think this really needs to be omitted from the town plan. Okay. Any other comments? Lisa? So, um, the, at the time when this was prepared, Skip Lyle did serve on the Planning Commission, so may that be noted. And he is a wildlife biologist and he has extensive um, expertise and knowledge. And the Planning Commission um, did um, designate this document as a reference, not as an appendix to the, so it's not officially part of the town plan, so to speak. It's a reference, and it is a valuable document to everybody in town because it spells out the whole natural resources history and the importance of the natural environment to the development uh, of the town. So the Planning Commission felt that it was a valuable 
reference, not an official part of the town plan. And it can be available on, you know, we don't print out copies anyway anymore, so we're not talking about the printing cost of those additional pages. Um, it can be available online, people can access it. It is very interesting reading. It is designated as his own document. It's, yes, it does have his opinions, but his name is on it. So it is not the towns, it's not the planning commission. So I, I would strongly suggest that we do not throw it out. It's a valuable document for townspeople, for young people to learn about the natural history. But does it have to be incorporated into the town plan? Well, it we can make it available. It is not incorporated into the town plan. It is. It is. It is well, the, the planning commission designated it as a reference, not as an appendix. Originally, it was an appendix. It is no more an appendix. Mr. Church, you mean that, yeah, that, this is, that, that should be at the meeting. Yeah, we have this, a long this, discussion at the meeting. This, this, this is discussion right. that we'll have to deal with. We heard your comments. Now, are there any other comments about the Skip Rhino plan? Ron? Uh, yes, thank you. Uh, for better or worse, I think that all 33 plans, town plans, that have been given substantial approval by the state. Uh, and First of all, several of them, quite a few of them, are much, much longer than our plan, including skips 10 pages, so uh, that's not an issue. Several of them contain elements that we might agree on are not directly related to a town plan. Uh, I agree with Ken. Uh, skip's work is a, a work of literature. It's a work of really first rate literature. This is, happens to be great writing. We're actually fortunate to have something like this as a statement that the town stands behind. Uh, and I ask you to keep that in mind. Uh, this, you know, it, it's, it's something that at a certain level, to me, it's, it's actually beautiful. This is as good a piece of writing that anyone has produced in this town that I've seen. And we have people in town who write first-rate novels. This is, this is really good work, and it's appropriate in terms of uh, the issues it addresses, what it says about Bradman and its history. Importance and I ask you to keep that. Okay. Any other comments? Does anybody have any comments on the maps? I do. Uh -huh. I mean, um, any from the audience first? No. So go ahead. Um, a little concerned with the map. And that show it would be the this one right here. number 14, I think it's numbered, proposed land use. Um, the resource land makes up about two thirds to three quarters of the town, according to this. Um, one of the issues I had was definition of development and uh, the answer I got development was pretty much anything um, we talk about in the town plan how we want to encourage young people into town um, I'm concerned when we draw all this green area that we take away the opportunity for young people to do what Doreen and I did, where we found a little piece of land nobody paid much attention to in Grafton, opened up an old town road, uh, built, lived there for 27 years without power. Um, that was the only way we could live in town. We couldn't move into the center of town. And I have a concern that when we delineate all this green area, we're taking away opportunities for young people. I, I have a problem with it. I have a question for the planning commission. I, 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 don't, I agree with Alan, but I don't understand the reasoning why certain areas are white and certain areas are not. And can anybody explain that from the planning commission? I mean, how, does, how has this arrived at? I mean, it was just 
was there a rhyme or reason uh, of having um, this green area being so large? I would do my best to address it, and again, I apologize because a lot of this work is well over a year old. Um, yes, that map, I would say, is if not all, virtually all, strictly data collection and transmission, and we try hard to eliminate any emotional decision making. Uh, what you'll, what we did was go to the state website that has all the different layers and layers of maps and we went through our chapter two land use we went through the rules regulations laws etc we also looked at the Wyndham regional plan and put all that together and we overlaid those maps and that's what our uh, cartographer did down in Brattleboro that is the maps that you see that came up with um, the terminology is from the uh, Wyndham, uh, Wyndham Regional Center uh, Commission as well in what they use, so we tried to parallel that. Um, I would say, first of all, to make it clear, it's not zoning. It, it's, it's a vision and a, and a belief system. The maps that you see, the large resource areas, are stri strictly overlays from the large forest block and uh, connective corridors maps, and that's what they say is their definition of you, if you will, of what they want to be resource lands. Not critical resource lands, resource lands. There's a difference. Critical resource lands, again, not zoning. I'm a believer, if anybody knows me, I, I'm one that says, your land, your rights guy. Um, critical resource lands are like the Turner area that says, by everything, we as a community strongly believe we don't want you messing with that. Resource lands are, we want you to understand that this is a beautiful, fragile area and be careful when you do it. We recommend that you don't go nuts on it. Now, now that's layman's terms versus what you see there, but that was the message we tried to send in this. In, in this area, can you point to the, up there, because I can't see what you point to there. Well, in the green area. Green area, yep. And, and in the western end of town. Mm -hmm. There's a couple people that have built houses that have long driveways. If this plan was in place at the time, would they still be allowed to build a long driveway Absolutely. to those properties? Absolutely. No question. Okay. It's not a zoning map. The, then the ones I have problems with is the pink. Uh, when you designate those state lands and, and the writing says that there's no development or no building, I forget which term you used. I don't, I don't think in a Dillon state where the town is given jurisdiction by state law, there's no way that we as a town can tell the state what they can do on state lands. A, a, a really important and interesting point, what I was visualizing is what we had the control to say yes and no to, and we have zero control over that land, and that's why we put it in that category. But I see your point from that well, view, right. it's the same I, vision, a different approach. Correct, but I, I understand your thinking, yeah. but I also understand what's happening in Londonderry where the, when they're trying to uh, develop uh, Low Lake State Park mm -hmm. because of a town plan, the two are not jiving. And to me, for the town to take jurisdiction on state land is wrong. <clears throat> so I don't think that needs to be addressed by the, by the board. You know, with the okay, are there any other comments before we adjourn the public here? Yes. So I have a comment about can this be set to the Louder and you need to give us the Bill has never told me I need to speak loud. <laughs> okay. Um, I was so focused on the maps that I've now lost my flight. But on the appendix, 
for list of historic sites, and it also ties back to, I believe, page 13 under historic resources. Um, this information is out of date. Back um, in January, when we were first making comments on the Planning Commission version of the plan, I researched this with the State of Vermont uh, Historic and the National Historic Register. Anyway, to make a long story short, um, this section and the section that has a narrative about it um, under historic resources, it just simply needs to be updated. And I have a, a narrative that I would like to propose, um, and I'll just send it on to Bill in an email if that would work. Well, you know, we need to do it tonight. If you want to do it tonight. I do. Okay, yeah, send it to you. If you want to tonight. make a change, we need to do it tonight. Okay. You can send it to I'm going to, yeah. Okay, thank you. Well, I don't know. I don't know what you, what, what, do you, can you tell us what you have in mind? Yes, of course. All right. So I. 13? Uh, so it, the, the fact 13. is, it's page 13, but I'm also referencing it in the appendix area. Um, there were uh, originally just these few historic structures that were listed in the National Historic Register. The Congregational Church, the Chapel, the Kidder Hill Bridge, Mildene, and Eagle Brook. But since then, several, uh, 11 historic buildings and districts have been, have been added to the National Register. And those are, include the Grafton Schoolhouse, Butterfield House, Post Office, Park Farm, Middletown Rural Mechanicsville, and Grafton Historic Districts. So this has quite a bit of information in it. Um, also, the Vermont State Register includes over 100 historic sites. And all these sites are listed as part of the Grafton Historical District. So um, also, finally, I think that the uh, the narrative on the uh, Grafton Congregational Church and the brick meeting house that is being beautifully restored. Um, the uh, comment there should, I would recommend to say, the architecturally significant Grafton Congregational Church brick meeting house has been structurally stabilized through the efforts of the Grafton Historical Society and. Uh, I believe that's the correct rubric. You might want to uh, modify that as well. Beautiful interior restorations are underway. They may actually be complete by now. And the Congregational Church Chapel has been uh, partly renovated and stabilized by the Grafton Community Church. So I just thought, and many volunteers, so I just thought I would send along this narrative and then okay, but, but you're gonna, would you Okay, but you just do it this way, because I can't get an email here. Okay. And then, oh, and where will this narrative go? So if you wanted to use it in the narrative, it would go on page. If you look up here, are we, is that where, somewhere in there you want? It would go in appendix, which is the topic we were on now. And it would go under historic resources, which well, I believe is on page 13. I don't. Where, where in, in on page 13 would you go? No we we talk about historic. it includes. It says the Vermont State Register historical yeah. sites includes over 100 historic sites within Grant. So I, I, if you choose not to. To accept my recommendation, I understand that. Well, we, we, I, I want to, I want to just... Uh, well, we need this from you as the recommendation. I'm, I'm, I'm going to put it on his flash drive right okay. now. Okay. But, it, but is that something that, rather than making it a substantial change, is that something that the Planning Commission, when they get to that part, can... I, to me, there's a lot of little things like that in there, like it says about the sheep being in town. I didn't even go there. There are no more sheep in town. So, I mean, as you go through that, uh, as they go through this thing, once they get it back, those are the corrections that can be made then, as opposed to, I mean, there's many See, details. See, while you were out fighting fire, I asked that very question. I and I was selected, I, I was directed 
after asked by the select board to go ahead and make my one wish comments. Right. I, 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 so um, that that's the only reason I'm okay. bringing up these small, smaller so matters please, tonight. If you put it on there, we can discuss that. It might be easy. That's, just it'd be just a cut and paste. So that's not a big deal. Thank then you. We can, we can deal with it at our meeting. That's which is fine. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Okay. Just to the town and to the select board. Um, I don't get to say because I'm one member of the Planning Commission, but I get to write agendas so maybe I can have some direction on this. My personal goal and expectation is that starting next Tuesday, which is our next Planning Commission meeting, even though this is not adopted officially, is a sequential process month by month by going through this. Next week, honestly, is I want to start by defining what is a goal, what is a recommendation, is what is policy, because those are strange and a major problem to me. That needs to be defined before we go forward. And then starting in December meeting, I've got it a calendar laid out, one chapter per month, all the way through. It's 12 chapters, one year. So sometime late winter, early spring 2021, my goal would be have an amendment in going through this process again, a year and a couple of months away. That, that is what I see happening next. I just want to say that. Okay, that's, that's what it should be. Yeah. Um, and I'm sorry if you covered this before I got here. There was uh, some questions I had today. The table of contents referencing the appendices. There's appendices referenced in the text that are not there. Is that is that covered? And then the other other thing that we might want to consider is we don't really have any citations for our data sources. So when a new batch of people in five years looks at this and they wonder where some of these numbers and figures and facts came from, if we could have like the $2.36 million in energy, if we had a, a data source citation for that so we can always go look it up where exactly all those facts and figures came from. I agree. That data source is what I was talking about. That's what we're going to add to the data I mean, the board agrees. I think it's really important. Okay. Any other comments before we adjourn the public hearing? Do we need a motion to adjourn, Bill? Uh, no, yes. No, no you just closed the hearing. Closed. So when we close the hearing, select board meeting. Second. Uh, any discussion? All in favor say aye. 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 Okay. All right, so I guess the way we should do this is the same way we nope, did no problem. the public hearing. We'll start with chapter one and go through it, then go through the cover, and then we'll go through the, the appendix and, and the maps and, and whatever. So, um, Bill, you'll have to help us here. Well, I highlighted all of them oh, okay. yellow, so, okay, so, I, so I know where the changes are. Okay, so I guess the first one is chapter one. Right. And we inserted page eight. Yeah, page eight, we changed from three to four and struck primary. Let me get my page eight. Page eight, we, what do we do here now? We, we changed three to four and we struck the word primary. Page eight. On page eight. Yep. It's a paragraph for oh, our zoning regulations. Yep, yep, I see. Right, yeah, three okay. Right. Yep. So there are four access corridors. Okay. Right. Correct. Okay. Uh, do we want to, do we want to go through the formal process of oh, making a yeah. making a motion? I would do by chapter. If that's the only thing in this chapter, then yeah. okay. All right. So is that the only thing on chapter one? No. Okay. What's the other one? Um, uh, page page eleven. Uh, under goals. Is where I added oh, that's right. forestry yeah. activities. Right. So, so which one is that? Four? It would, be four? it would be goal number four. Okay. And that's for, the management practices. Right, yeah. So everybody knows this is the book that is being added right here. This one. Correct. Should, should that be a policy more than a goal? The policy is to follow. Uh, it probably should yeah, be a policy. You're probably right. It, it should, should be a policy. Does it doesn't make a policy. number eight. Yeah, policy. Yeah, it okay. so, yeah, it should be a policy. It's something we should follow. And, and we will have to, we will have to form a policy that says that, right? Yeah. 
No. Our, yeah, we will. In our policy manual. Oh, in the policy, yeah. Right. Okay, right. yeah. you get that, Bill? Uh, well, wait a second. Now you change your policy. It's, it's the same wording, it. except we're we going to move, move it from four move eight. It away from. It's not going to be four under goals. It's going to be eight, eight under policy. Policy. It's policy. It's just a just a small change. Uh, yeah, we'll look at it. <laughs> the wording doesn't change. Just a comment while we're waiting. Uh, anybody who does logging on their property and their logger doesn't follow this and there's an issue, the homeowner is, 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 could be liable. So if anybody plans on doing any logging on any property they have, they should make sure that their logger or forester uses that as the guide. It's, it's, it's a very important part of the process. Okay. Okay, we got that. Are there any other changes in chapter one, land use? Hold on. No, that's chapter one. Okay, so somebody want to make a motion? Uh, make a motion, we accept the changes. No, we make a motion to amend chapter one with those changes. Please. That's what I meant to say. And <laughs> <laughs> right, now we know the way. Okay. Uh, do we have a second? Second. Any, any further discussion? Okay. All in favor of the uh, amending chapter one as the motion says? Now, wait a second. Okay. Changes to, um, to, um, and, uh, to four entrances. I just want to be clear. Right. And a &P. policy on AMPs. Correct. Uh, policy number eight. 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 Okay. Okay. Thank you. All, right. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Okay. Now, chapter two. Storm Who seconded that? Um, Chris, Chris did. I did. Chris did. Well, thank you. Historical, cultural, and natural resources. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't know if we have page it. twenty. Page right. twenty one. Page twenty one. We had number thirteen under recommendations. Town should consider oh, land fine. with gravel for roads. Purchase land. Purchase. Right. Purchase. On what? Twenty one. I have that. Eighteen. <laughs> Oh, yeah, I had that on page 18. Yeah. Yeah. Right in the wrong place. Yes, you're right. Hmm? Did you see? Go ahead, chapter. Where is it? How did that work? Chapter 2 had, uh, under recommendation, 15 purchase land to secure gravel for road. Second? Second. Any further discussion? Uh, all in favor of changing the, um, adopting adopting the, the, the changes, say aye. 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 Opposed? Aye. Okay. Adopted. All right. Now our chapter 3. 
chapter 3, we had um, on page 26, under 14, con to continue the language from July 11th, number 6, page 24. Okay. 
Thank you, Bill. Yeah, I just wanted to take it out. So you have to make a new motion, Chris, if you want to change. Okay, so uh, to you. I move we adopt the amendments in Chapter Four, adding um, policies uh, 14 and 15 that we comply with the uh, town road and bridges standards, and as well as the uh, better back roads, and then delete uh, the current recommendation too, as far as maintaining 121 unpaved. Actually, those are 15 and 16. The motion 15, is 16, 15 and 16. 15, 15 and 16, 16, I stand corrected, thank you. We have a second, second. for that? Second. We have any further discussion? If not, say all in favor of accepting the three recommendations um, to chapter four. four. Say aye. 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 Opposed? Okay. Chapter five, any issue? There was um, uh, page 34. On page 30, actually, I had a note that we were going to add, uh, was it Martha Majors? Mary Majors. Mary Majors. Majors. Yes. We were going to add her, uh, recognize that the data came from her. Yep. Yeah, you have that language, Bill? Oh, yeah. It's the note in the, it's the note in the uh, select board's version that comes from Mary Majors. It, uh, it's the, the very beginning of the energy. <coughs> Chapter of the, and it says no, the data comes from. This is what it says here. Note that all the data cited in the energy chapter has been provided by the Window Regional Commission staff, which obtained the base data from various sources. The, and it goes on to talk about the whole thing. Is that the one you want to add? Yeah, I want to add it. The whole add, note. Add the whole note and add it right before introduction. Well, that's where it is. It's, oh, right before, this is, it's still in its version, it was after introduction. Uh, in, in formatting, I may have to put it there. It'll be, it'll set, it'll just be set, just like it is in there, it's just set out. No, it's a note. Okay. Yep. Okay. Yeah, it is, it is, it is the first thing, but it says no. Okay. Okay, so everybody understand that language? See it? The uh, next thing I have is on page 34. And it says, this oak is a strong indication of Grafton residents are opposed to utility scale wind projects. Um, I don't think that sentence should be in there. Right. That um, was Dan's motion. Yeah. Okay. And there was another one too. Somewhere. Well, that was on the next next page. Yeah, that was the, um, the next. Yeah, 35. we're on page 35 under wind resources. Also, as previously noted, town voted against proposed on the western border. Whatever. Um, the I wrote the article, and the article was very specific to that Styles Book project, and I. A problem taking that and interpreting it to mean something else. Yeah, I also so what do you want to do it. I think I, I would delete that sentence. Yeah, yeah. Okay, that's fine. And and I want to I want to address Lisa's comment about um, the uh, the vote uh, indicating it's wrong. I, I think it indicates that on November eighth, with a vote of two hundred thirty-five no and one hundred fifty-eight four. That indicates it's a very strong vote, and I don't think you need anything else other than that. Yeah. Well, may I? Sure. So, uh, the, the, the crux of the statement is in that following sentence. What does, what does it actually mean? Okay, so we had that vote, but what is the meaning of that vote? Why is it important, and, and how does it inform the town plan and, and the town's energy policy? And that was a long discussion among planning commissioners and people who attended meetings, at many meetings, there was discussion about what that vote means. Does it just mean that that particular project was voted down, or does it have a significant meaning as, as far as 
how the town overall feels about industrial waste. And the planning commission came down with the left that, that, they, that you can conclude from that vote, not just that the Ibitrola project was rejected overwhelmingly, but that that rejection of that project indicates that the town has rejected industrial wind. This went back and forth, and that's where the planning commission came down and, and anonymously, anonymously, <laughs> unanimously adopted this statement. And this is a crux statement. This is what the planning, um, uh, the public utilities commission would be looking for. So you had a vote. So what does that mean about any other project? That's the second sentence that says it. So I, I really feel that it's very important that the town is clear. Okay. The, the, the selectmen re recognized that this was an issue. So we went to VLCT and asked for their opinion, and VLC's opinion was the vote was for the wind project only. It wasn't for wind for the town. It was a specific vote for a specific policy. So that's what Wyndham, that's what VLCT commented on. We asked for interpretation of what the language said, because there's been controversy is that we did take a vote and we were against when the town was against the wind. No, the town was against the Ibadrola wind project. And that's what VLCT had indicated that that's what it means. But there is nowhere else any other data. There is no data that supports the fact that the town does not want the industrial wind. That, it, 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 the, the data from that vote is what the policy is based on. Lisa, 235 to 158, that's a pretty substantial number. Right, and therefore, that indicates that the town does not want industrial wind, not just that particular 2016 Ibadrola project vote. And, uh, All right, okay, that's and, your opinion, and, though. Okay. Uh, what, what are the changes that we have on the chapter on the north two? Mr. Chair, is a hand raised by? Yeah, Chair. one second before before we do that, we I, we want to let's make sure we get all the changes here before we vote. So. I wanted to comment on that. Okay, you, you, we have a hand up. Um, there was the uh, error on top of page forty-three, the three hundred and sixty-two yes, million right. dollars. Mm. Well, actually, it's right. It's 36. Is that it's 2.36 million. 2.36. But some copies have oh, okay. 362 million. What's the name? Yeah, 2.36. Yeah. Yeah. On, on the top of 43, 43. On conservation and efficiency strategies, the first sentence. Just wanted to make sure the number is correct. Well, I have 2.36. Right. Right. My, I, I have, my copy says 362 million. Wow. Yeah, my copy is at 2.36, so it needs to be 2.36. Correct. This is the one. Correct. This, this one right here is. So that's not an amendment then. The final planning commission draft that was that's posted on the website, which is what we're talking about tonight. Okay, as long yeah. as it reads 2.36. That's 2.36. Okay, that's the one. So that's not an amendment. No, it's not. Okay, and I think that's. I think those, uh, hold on a minute. Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah, then no, no, no islands on 46. Yeah, no islands. So, you that suggested that that, that we strike it. Strike, strike that. So, if that gets struck, then the I will become H. That is correct. All right, so, so for the record, we have four changes, uh, amendments. Uh, we have two on the win, one on the, one on the vote, two on the vote. We have one on the no island signs, and what's the other one? Well, there's really only three, because the other oh, okay. thing we talked about. All right, okay. Okay. So then we have three. We have the, the, the two issues on the vote. Um, one is to strike the... Strong indication out. And what's the other one? Is previously noted. The previously board. noted. And the um, other one is to eliminate the use of um, no island sites. Correct. Somebody want to make a motion? 
Well, may I comment? There's a sure, I'm sorry. Yeah, that's that's fine. Fine. Uh, I just want to offer this as maybe an alternative way of addressing the issue that Stan brought up, and that's to remove the word straw. That's a bit of piling on. It's an indication, but the rest of that sentence makes clear that when people voted, they didn't say, oh, because Eva Go is you know, proposing this, I'm against it. Okay. There were you know, years of meetings and information brought up that had to deal with the issue of women in general, okay? Women care about in general. So that sentence plays an important role in letting everyone know what actually happened and why. And so, you know, take out the word strong, just leave it as a declarative sentence. Okay. Your point well taken. So I would suggest that we consider that as a Why don't you just put in the words they voted on? This article was voted voted down, voted put the article was voted to put the article actually the article, article, article say in November seventh <laughs> this article was voted on and it was or was it defeated or won? It voted It was defeated. It was defeated well, in thirty five and one fifty eight. Just put just quote the thing and then let everybody decide whether it was. That's I right. Know, but that's, it's already in there. On November 8, 2016, with a vote of 235 to 158, the town voted against the proposal. What proposal? No, well, I it says say a 28 article, point. You voted on an article. Yeah. And the article stated, stated something. Mm -hmm. Put the article, this article is what they voted on, and, and it was to. Yeah, but if the article is, is forever, if you, can, you can go research the article, so you, you get all the history and, if you go back, okay. rather than the proposal. A proposal might not do, but Bill is correct, I believe. If you, put, if you change it to article, then if somebody is interested, you have an article that you Hold can, the article. Yeah, right. And, and, and then the article will tell you when you voted. Exactly. Yeah. I agree. Yeah. So what about the vote as a strong indication of graphic well, residence? Take, take that sentence out and put in the actual article. No, it isn't. If, if you, it, it isn't an industrial wind article. The article says you're voting for against this project. Right. That's what the article says. So I'm right. saying just put the article. Agreed. Yeah. And then it, then you then everybody can make up their mind what they voted for. And interpret it. Yeah, 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 against wind or against the article, against the project. I guess I'm a little dense. So you're talking about eliminating that entire the wind energy has been controversial on the part of this? No, no, leave it so in. All in there. Leave everything in there except to say that for the vote of 25 to 2, turn down the article that's stated and put the article. And put the article number in there. No, it, not the article. The actual word in there. Quote the article. Quote the article in there. Right. Yep. Okay. I like that. I think that's better. Well, it's very clear. Mm. Yeah, because people then, can interpret it however they want. Exactly. All right, so we have a motion on the floor. We, we didn't have a motion, did we? No. We have no motion. So to, so to understand, we're going to eliminate the vote of strong indication of Grafton be opposed, and we're going to add the article, the actual article the, in the place. The actual, the actual wording of the article. So that's number one. Number two is the idling signs. Well, actually, number two is on, the well, next, I mean, on page yeah. 35. The previously noted. Right. That, that, that comes out too. Right. Yep. Okay, so we have three um, amendments to the chapter, the energy chapter. Uh, somebody want to make a motion as such so we can discuss it and vote on it? You have four. Four? For the item side. No, idling, the idling, the vote, the vote, oh. yes. the language. Oh, the vote is a new one, yes. Okay. The note. Right. Yep. Okay. So somebody make a motion. Is that everybody vote? clear what they're voting on? <coughs> the note. Sorry. The note at the beginning. The note is the vote. Oh, right. The, the, the source. Yeah, I forgot about numbers. the notes. Yeah. Okay. Correct. Thank you. The note's right. So we have the note. We have the, the changes to the to the. Um, the we need to add the article. The warrant, or the, uh, yeah, the article, and to the mention of the other language, and yes. the no-line no signs. 
Okay. So everybody clear when you vote. I'm sorry. Okay. So we're we're Stan, we're we're eliminate we're we're adding the note that's that's yes, I understand. Major, I understand major. That. Okay. We're eliminating the vote to strong indication of the grant. That's okay, out. That's out. And we're going to put the actual article in. Okay. Whatever that terminology of the article okay, is. Okay, that's fine. Right. Okay. And then and then on the other one, we're going to take the Ivan Drolo thing out. Um, As previously noted. Yes. Right. Right. But then there's five. Right. Then you want no, your idling side. Yeah, it's just three. Four. Well, you're making it five because you're adding, adding the thing. Oh, you're just okay. However, we're just, okay. just, we're just, we're just assuming we're just rewording. Okay. 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 So there's okay. 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 So everybody clear now? What, 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 the, what we have? So, does somebody want to make a motion to that effect? Then we can discuss and make the motion. Okay. So the motion is that we we amend the plan. To add the note, yep. We add to, to to take out the vote as a strong indication, and replace that with the actual warrant, that article. Correct. And we take the description of the Ivan Drola project out, and we we take we eliminate the no island Correct. Correct. Okay. You say You're taking out as previously noted. Yeah. yeah right. That's the one. Yeah. Right. So somebody make a motion to that effect? We did. We did. Okay. Second? Second. Okay. Now we can have discussion. Does everybody agree with that? Anybody want to make some changes? Speak up. Does the idling affect the sign that's in front of the town hall, town hall now? Does that come down? There's no sign. Oh, that's please be considerate. No, there's no, there's no sign in the town that I know. Right. Okay. So where does this come from? something there at one time or it may have been during uh, Irene when there's so many trucks and so many Remember, yeah. there was temporary. It was, yeah. Maybe. No, okay. as far as I know, there were no signs. Okay. Unless somebody put one in between now and yesterday. Sir, Gary. Okay. So all if there's all the questions. If there's no question, all in favor of the, the, the four um, amendments to the energy chapter say aye. 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 Opposed? Now, moving right along. The next chapter is education. Yeah, education. Which is the moving target. Leave that alone. Yeah. yeah, and remember, Bill, that we, we make sure that, that the 2.36 million is the actual one in there. That was, yeah. 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 I think there was no changes in education, correct? Right. Right. So, so child target, we're not going to. Uh, chapter so, eight. So, so we're so chapter six. Sorry, go on. Need to go. And then we have the housing. The only right. one, I think, on page 58. Yeah. On page 58, we added yeah. a re recommendation for action was to explore senior housing. Right, that was the change. That was number three. That number three. Which is number three, explore possibilities of constructing senior housing in Grant. Yes, Correct. that's that's it. Is that under goals or? No, a recommendation. There are no other changes, so somebody make a motion to um, make that break, make that amendment to the some chapter. chapter. Second? Second. Any discussion? All in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Okay. okay. Who made the motion? Alan. Uh, Alan and uh, Kathy. Kathy seconded. Okay, so then. Next chapter is recreation. I don't. It was the only change there was the white called the, the, the Grafton, Grafton Village, Village Church, uh, Grafton, rather than the yeah. white church. Or then somebody made the emote, made the suggestion that we put white church in parentheses. Yeah, right. We retain white church, but just yeah. Grafton oh, Community Church. Have the current name, which is a Grafton, Grafton Community, Community Church. church. And what page is it? Fifty-nine. In recreation. Last uh, right. paragraph. Right. You don't want to change that, okay? Hmm? Okay. Uh, it might be on 60. I thought I would take that. On 59. Yeah. I'm on 59. I thought we What's the. 
culture and recreational assets at Grafton includes Woodway Hydro Museum, Educational Natural Museum, and see how it's kind of odd that, that it's called the title is recreation and we're talking about a church. Oh, I see. I got it. Um, let Dave Culver when he gets the right. thing. I can you recommend that? I will say that. Community Church in London. Right. My church in Prince. Uh, Dave Culver is doing can, can we make some kind of a note there to draw it to attention? Culture and recreation assets. That's all under recreation. Culture? Shouldn't that it's Chapter 2 is cultural resources. That's that seems like that's in the wrong chapter. Because it's about the musical program there, and okay. I think that relates to culture. <clears throat> the white, the Grafton right. Community Church, Grand White Church, All right, noted right. for its final right. yeah. Yeah. So, <laughs> Okay, so can we have a motion to make the uh, that okay, so I move we adopt the uh, the amendment in uh, okay. Chapter okay. 8 for recreation to modify Alan the, seconded. the name of the church. Uh, any discussion? If there's no discussion, all in favor of making that change, please say aye. 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 Opposed? Okay. The next 61 is town government. Yeah, change the rate in that first paragraph, third sentence. Change the warrant to warnings. Right. And then, then there was another one on the Red Cross thing, right? Yeah, there was. Page 64. One. There's one on 63, too. Uh, or no, that was under the one that yeah, 64 is, I just highlighted the sentence, this generator, we were going to draft the school. We're going to delete which serves as a Red Cross shelter. Right. Because that's no longer accurate. Okay. Um, yeah. Well, I'm going to keep deleting that sentence. Yeah. On the purchase of the generator? Yeah. To be used during Yeah. Yeah, because it's okay. And then this generator is at is well, this would be that whole sentence in there that the town voted 2007 to purchase the generator to use in emergency. This generator is at the uh, Grafton Elementary School. Yeah, period. period. That's, that's it, period. Yep. Period. And then you right take there. out which first? Take out that last part, right. And then you can go um, additionally by agreement to win the foundation. And at some point we can put that back. Yes. Yeah. Provided for the, the town will get provided by the home state generator. <coughs> The town garage already has the Okay, that's the only change I think. Uh, no, 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 no. The policies, number 17. Well, even before we that, we're going to add a number seven. Even before that, right. on 66, on page 66, mm -hmm. uh, protective services, add seven, research, recruitment, potential, or oh, something. Yeah. That right. was language in there. Research of solutions for the future improvement and of both fire and, and rescue. Okay. Yeah, then the other one was seventeen. Uh, seventeen is right. Recommend, recommend instead of ensure. Uh, I have encourage. Encourage or work. either encourage. That's fine. That's it. Okay, hang on. Anything. No, no, we took it back. Someone wanted to do that. Took it out and then we put it back. 
All right, so that brings us to chapter 12. No, 11. 11. 11. The only thing, there was nothing in 11. Nothing, nothing yeah. in 11. The other thing that I okay. could have on 10, uh, chapter 10, on page 70, um, was, I can find the page, on the very first under flood resiliency background, I didn't mention this before, but it's, I was thinking of something that could be changed, is flood resiliency is the ability to adapt to changing conditions, to be prepared to withstand and recover from disruptions due to emergencies. We're talking about flooding. Uh, due to flooding emergencies, or is just emergencies uh, plain enough there? What, what, okay, I First the second, the second. I don't have your case. Oh, you're okay. at the very beginning of the very flood. beginning of flood resilience. resiliency. The very first sentence. Okay. It says disruptions due to emergencies. I mean, we're talking about flooding. Should that be flooding emergencies? Because emergencies could be a house burning down, uh, somebody get hit by a car. Dog got lost. Uh, you know, it could be anything, could, but uh, because uh, you could have, uh, not likely, but you could have uh, landslides, you could have uh, earthquakes, which you don't have, but you could have it. That would all cause a problem with the flow of water. Okay. So I think no, that's why I didn't bring it up initially. I just thought, I mean, we were talking about flooding, and then it said due to emergencies. So I think it's better if we can get you Okay. There are no changes on chapter 11. So the next thing is chapter 12. We need to. That's where we're going to take uh, yeah, Chuck, Chuck Weiss's we word to, yeah, for to, yeah. the yeah. Chuck Weiss's version is number 12. Yeah. Somebody make a motion to that effect? Second. Second. Alan seconded. Kathy amended. Mom made the motion. Discussion? All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? So that brings us to now. It brings us to the front cover. Oh, we did the front cover. No, we didn't. No. We're going to do the front cover and the beaver. So let's do the front cover first. Does somebody want to make a motion? I'll make a motion that, that, that we accept the cover that is on the select board's uh, edition of the plan. Is it? Town town picture hall. of the town hall right. to be exactly. a picture of the exactly. town plan. Okay, we Alan Stan made the motion. Alan seconded it. So, any discussion? All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Okay, so the last one of the actual plan is the Beavers. Uh, it's Skip Lyles. Uh, I think it's a great article, Thank you. but I think it should be in the town. Um, Website it should be printed, it should be put someplace, but I don't think it belongs in the town plan. That's my feeling. I'll make that motion. Could, could it not be just a reference? You could reference in the. You can in certainly plan, reference in the plan, this in the plan. Say right. reference Skip Lyle's report, right. but not include the report in. Right. Oh, absolutely. I think. Okay. It's, yeah, reference it. Reference it. It's on, it's on the absolutely. website. You can tell it where it's on the website. Right. We have chapter two, which is natural resources. That might be a logical place to insert the reference. That's okay. We'll yep. Okay, let's say exactly where you want to do it. You can do that. So, we'll so chapter two. I mean, it could be at the historic, end. cultural, and it natural could resources. Could be at the very end. And natural of the resources. Chapter. It's always the way the document is. No, it would just be a reference. And it'll go yeah. on the town plan, uh, town uh, yeah, website. Okay. So if somebody reads it and they want to reference it, you can you can reference it that it's on the town the town um, website. Or Yeah. The, well, there is a thing on page 18 already. Seek natural resources by skip line to learn more about natural benefit functions treated uh, created by beaver habitat and graphic. Well, then we could add there. And is it on? Is it on? Is it plan on the town website? Where are you looking? It is on page 18. It's a footnote. It's a footnote number 10. Uh, it says "See Natural Resources" by Skip Wild. Are you looking at the planning commission? Yes, we are. 
Yeah. Oh, there it is. Okay. Yeah. And we can just add the uh, the uh, website. It is available. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Excuse me. Could you correct the spelling of Lyle? It's oh yeah. I S L E. I didn't think that was right. See that. Spell that again. L I S L E. Did somebody want to make a motion that we that we I reference it? Um, in the footnote. So that should make that a, a change. So okay. I'll second it. All right. Discussion? Uh, and, uh, and resources chapter. It's a footnote already, Bill. All you gotta do just gotta add the town website to it. Yeah. Catching up. That's no problem. And spell his name, right? Yeah, and change the spell. Okay. Okay. We're gonna do that. Last one. Now, okay. Hold on. The motion is to add that in the footnote, but take it out of the yes. Yeah, yeah remove yes. the report from the plan. Who, who, who's making that? Kathy made the motion, I think. Right. I don't have it. Yes. Kathy made the motion and second. Okay. Um, yes. Any discussion? Yes. I think it's a great. All in favor, say aye. 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 Opposed? Okay, so the last thing we have to deal tonight before we adjourn is the maps. And the, the only map that I have a question is, is the one that's up there on the, this resource map. And I, I, I understand, Dave Culver, that you can't restrict it, but I just, I just don't have the understanding of why I mean, I live in the white area, Spring Hill, and you couldn't build anything in Spring Hill unless you decide you want to put cliffside houses up there, but there are places in Houghtonville or other places, uh, and Howville, that you can build. I, I just don't understand why that's like that. That's just my, much my trouble that I have with that. Well, hopefully, maybe future references can, can change that, maybe more accurately. Well, I just don't understand how it happened. I would have to go back to the planning commission. Well, I think it's important that if, if the map was created because of um, technologies and layers, et cetera, et cetera, is one thing. But if it was if it was developed the map was created to make a statement. Um, that's our intent. I have a problem with that. I mean, to show a corridor that starts in the village for animals to travel from the village out towards W.C. Putnam. So why, why are they starting there? It's just right. that. I just have a problem with that map. So what do we want to do with it? I, I don't know how to resolve it. I, I oh, Could we delete this for now and during the amendment process add a corrected copy perhaps? That's what I'm saying. Yeah. I don't know the technique that technically you can do it. I don't know what you're asking. If you're asking how do you handle this tonight? Yeah. You you see the area that's in white in the north in the east corner? Yep. Alright? If you think parts and you can do it by where the roads are, say we want to change to white the area that is south of Hall Ranch, uh, west, east of uh, Stagecoach, all the way to uh, Chester Road, for instance. I don't know what you want to change, but if there is a way of doing it that is specific. If you guys feel strongly about it, and then the uh, map maker will have to change it according to that. We won't have the map printed. We might have it. We should have it for the. Next hearing, but uh, at least if people understand what what you're proposing to change when you go to the next meeting. But that that is a way to do it. I just that I sounds know. to me like you're throwing a dart at it. <laughs> well, the argument is what is now the productive rural 
area, which is all of Fisher Hill, well, and um, Anderson Road and everything all the way up to Chester, is that any different from the hills? It's not. That's it's like Chester Road right on one and side and if you feel, feel it or right. not, right. Then, then that's, I'm just giving you a way to word it that would be clear what your motion means. That's all I'm saying. I'm not suggesting you change anything. But yeah. if you want to, that's what it's doing. And it's like, you look at all the houses along State Road. All those houses on State Road. Why is it that way? Well, look at Otis Road. You've got had this property up there. You've got, you've got four houses up there. Plus, you certainly developed land up there. I mean, I, I, I just, you know, and I, I, I say what Chris is saying, that how come one side of 35 is okay and the other side isn't? Okay. Um, you know, uh, perhaps this might help. If you go to, I believe it'll be page 12 on the plan, because I just have a copy of the combined plans here. Under Grafton's resource lands, where uh, the description of the resource lands and the intent. Um, and it makes it clear that development is acceptable. It says if development is to occur, steps should be taken to ensure that the development will not negatively affect the floodplain and the water flow, which is a rather minimal set of descriptions. Which, which number are you looking at? Five? I'm looking under page. My page 12. But yeah. Not, but what's the number? The chapter? Uh, it's chapter on the land use. But what's the, what's the number on, on page 12? It's not a number. The title of that section is Grafton's Resource Lands. It's where there's a description of the categories and what oh. they mean. Page 11. Oh, sorry, right. I'm sorry. I've got a copy here. My page numbers are up. Uh, are we all in that? If you go at the beginning of the... Of of uh, land use. There's one page, I told you. We don't have to worry about page numbers. Then there's a multicolor scale going that's, from undeveloped to advanced to developed. Yeah. Right below that, there are those definitions of those areas that are right there on the map. Mm -hmm. So if you look at the, your maps, if you look at those areas, you can see what you're talking about. Yeah, so what if, we, if we go there, okay, below that, uh, You don't know what color they are, no. Figure, uh, resource lands and You don't know what, do you have your maps? Yeah. No, no, I have no, no maps. maps. Oh, no, okay. it's not a map. No, it's okay. okay. But there's no colors here either. This is all just black and white, so I don't know what they're referring to. No, no, I'm referring to the map. Just saying, let's put the map back up. So, you got that in front of you? No. It's no, so you got that in front of you. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. It's the back. second page in on the chapter on land use. Yeah. They have that, they don't have the map. Okay. And they don't have a color map, so it's okay. this map right here. So, so at least under the description of what resources, resource lands okay. are. Here's the legend at the bottom. It says it says that future development can occur. And then if you move two pages further on, and still in the land use chapter, there's a uh, description on Grafton's resource lands. Yep. And so what it says, is the last sentence, if development is to occur, so it's yep. not prohibiting development, steps should be taken to ensure that the development will not negatively affect the floodplain and waterfall. If we take those statements and then go to the map, the purpose of that map is to generalize a land use map. And you would never put specific little changes or, you know, and the uh, coding here and there in such a map. Uh, the resource lands have been described in the land use chapter, and it makes clear that that area of green can have potential development. Mm -hmm. So you, you don't have the problem. Well, it does, it does say future development should be weighed against the desire to preserve the area. Yes. Okay. That, that's that's not, that is not allowing open development. No, well, it's restrictions. It's, it's a, because you're you're smack dab in the middle of the resource area. So. Well, you just may have to do something different if you build your house. You just may have to be a little bit more careful with what you do, maybe. And I'm not yes. saying that you can't do it, right? Okay, but what's but uh, what is the, then? What is the difference between the up white area, which is productive rural land that doesn't have that restriction, right? And and the green area when you're talking about 
the areas, areas on both sides of Route 35. Because the white area is not being described as being productive. Exactly. No, that's my point. That, that is different. That's why they need to look at this and decide, do they want both sides of, of 35 to be different, or do they want both sides of 35 to be the same? That's what I'm saying, and that's the way you can do it. I, 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 that's all I was pointing out. I, I just have a problem with it, right? and I don't know how to resolve it, but I just, I, I, I think, yeah, Ken? Uh, if you actually look at the title of that map, it sounds like the Planning Commission is trying to tell us what we can do with those lands. I think this map just needs to be deleted completely. Don't argue about it. it. If you actually look at its title, proposed land, I mean, it's like they're telling us, well, this is what they want. And we were just told during the previous meeting that this was produced by overlays of different things. So this isn't really a planning commission map. This is a map that was just sort of thrown together. So I honestly do think this map should just be eliminated. Is this a required element? Well, if you're going to have let, if you're going to have those descriptions, I have a map, but you can change the map so that you then you agree with what fits the description. That's but but you can't eliminate. You can eliminate it, but then your descriptions in your chapter mean nothing. Mean nothing. Right. 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 There's no meaning. There's no backup. Right. No, you have to have a map. But how do we change the map? I told you how, Joe. You just say I don't. I want this to be white instead of green, and you describe it, and I'll put it in the notes, and you guys vote on it. I mean, that's how you do it. But Bill, isn't that the that is a process for doing it? But is it the best process? for the select board to enter into tonight, wouldn't it be prudent to do something since there's all this discussion and questions about it? Well, I think it should wouldn't have been it be more prudent discussed to say, or could we just area. say that up in the section about land use, the map uh, for proposed land use will be taken under consideration by the planning commission or by the select board? I mean, I think that's very similar to what Chris was saying. I probably didn't say it as well. But it just doesn't seem to me that at 8.35 at night, after we've gone through an entire uh, approval process for a town plan, that the select board should be rewriting the map. It just doesn't seem prudent to me at this time. Well, that was my suggestion also, that it goes back to the planning commission and they can relook at it and, and somehow. Um, I don't argue the fact that it's maybe right or not right, but I just think it's one of the future processes that, that has to be reviewed and all yeah. I, I just have a problem when it, eventually something goes to Act 250, and in Act 250 hearing, they're looking at this map, and they're going to make a decision in Act 250 based on the colors that are on this map. Take the map out and say the map will be under development. So I do believe to Chris's earlier question that this map is a required element. Um, as you know, the Wyndham Regional Commission, which has to approve this plan, is requiring the plan to include certain things such as this kind of a map. So uh, uh, it might make sense just to let go the map now, let it, let it be as is, with the understanding that this is an aspirational suggested map. This is not a zoning map, and this is not a restricted map. Uh, and, and then planning commission in its process can take it up, they can take it up maybe sooner than some of the other chapters if the select board considers an urgent matter and then come up with an amended map, but not hold up our whole town plan no, approval not process because of interpretations of what Listen, this map means. I don't think anybody's trying to hold the plan up. I just have, I, I have an issue. I don't have a problem with the map. I have a problem with the colors of the map. Mm -hmm. yeah. oh. Well, the, the, all the definitions, they are suggestions only. Development is allowed, but care should be taken. No development in floodplain. It is only suggestions. There's, there's nothing restrictive. About this map, this map is not going to stand in anybody's way who wants to start some kind of a 
house building or whatever in, in, in those areas. I disagree. And, and this map is required now. It, it cannot be thrown out of, of the plan. The, the Wyndham Regional Commission will need to look at this map. I, I understand that. The question yeah. is, I understand you have to have the map. I understand it's a requirement. But the requirement doesn't have to be this map. It can be changed. Well, then you can go, go, go ahead and change it. But the question is, when do you change it? Do you change it this week or next month? When I read the note that's on the map, in the second sentence, it is intended to be used in concert with the plan's policies to articulate the desired future of the town. That's a pretty strong statement. Mm -hmm. And and I, I just know when things get to Act 250, that's enough for some lawyer to, to make a case. Mm -hmm. I don't want something built here. And it shouldn't be built here because it's green. You know, I, that's how it works. This document will, will wind up in an Act 250 hearing and somebody will or won't get a permit because of what colors are on this map. <clears throat> Not as well, might as well be. Well, one thing is clear. There are two different aspirations for this map. Excuse me. I just like to support Stan's proposal that we send this map back to the looked at more carefully to improve the What I'm thinking of is that what the makes sense is to ask the planning commission to look carefully at the boundaries of the colors. So in certain areas it should be on both sides, 121 or 35 and so on, where it's not showing up in the map. So we're asking them to be more precise. Dave's comments sounded like they've just taken the overlays and what they could download from uh, uh, the regional commission, but that may not be precise enough for our town. I agree with the panel on that. Uh, what I worry about is putting little pockets here and there, right. trying to do that, but that's not the purpose of the general land use pack. So I would go with stands and send it back to the planning commission, ask them to look at this very carefully, be more precise. We might even suggest that that's the first thing they do. That's what I was going to say, too. But, how do, we, but how do we do that? Because once we approve the plan, then there's no directive to do that. Well, you can certainly add any statement you want to what you're doing tonight, not to your approval process, but what you're asking the planning commission to do. Uh, it's easy enough. I mean, it doesn't have, doesn't have to be what you're doing in terms of approving the various chapters and maps, but you're also adding a suggestion that they do this in a certain order. Because they just said that. That's what we can do is go through this. And this is the first thing. Because I, I agree. Uh, when you look at it carefully, I myself would suggest moving around is a better match. Okay. Well, I, I well, like what he's saying, but since the planning commission had no real part in this map, how can they actually go and tell me, because I'm looking at my property, and some of my property's in white, and a lot of it's in the green. How are they going to know, the planning commission, what part of my property is whatever? You know, I have a flat hilltop. Right now it's in green. So, what gives the planning commission the knowledge to go around changing this particular map as they had no, what I'm trying to say is, are they qualified to change this? I don't, I don't know the answer to that, and I don't think we should stay here for the next three hours trying to figure this out. What I'd like to be able to have is some language that's, that's added to, was somewhere in this plan that, we, that directs the planning commission to, to take a look at this thing ASAP and hold their public hearings on it and whatever so that it, it, because I'm, I have the fear that once this gets approved it's going to go in the in the closet and nothing's going to happen about it and and I don't I don't I don't not that I don't trust it I just I just don't I have a problem with it. yes Bill, you had something the uh, you can instruct at the end of this meeting you can instruct the planning commission to do things uh, and one of those things could be that. And the other thing could be to redo. They're going to have to redo the report. And I think you should strongly suggest to them on the report that saying, and this is a perfect example,
saying that land use change has been affected with this plan and to actually do a real report as required by 4384, I did C, I do a real report stating exactly what changes were made and where in town, just like, the, just like it's required of them, and not simply state there aren't any changes, because it's pretty obvious there are changes. And the attorneys had suggested that it is part of our problem in going through this whole discussion about this town plan was it that the report was misleading because it said there was no change when there obviously are changes. And that, and that the select board can require a valid report that addresses those issues as the law requires instead of just saying there isn't any. And because if, if there aren't any changes, you don't have to do the rest of the report. That's absolutely true. That's what the law says. But the law, 4384, requires them to do certain things if the if there are changes. I think I have 43. I do have 43. Well, if, if, if we can, if we can accomplish but, that. But I think, I think you okay. do it. I, let me finish. So you, she, she suggested that that you, all this in yellow is what they should do, and that it, and it's based on if the proposal would alter de the designation of any land area, the report should cover the following points. And it goes into the municipal tax base, the need for public facilities, the amount of vacant land which is which is already subject to the proposed, the actual available for the purpose and needed to, and so on. So um, that is what you should ask them to do, strongly ask them to do for the next meeting, so that we have a, a, a good report. I'll make a motion to do what he said. <laughs> okay, I, I I second that. Okay, then the motion would be to follow. <laughs> 4384 C. Okay, 4384 C. I go with that. I can live with that. So, um, just so that I understand what. Wait a minute, but you're. And you want to then. And, and to look at the maps. Is that part of it? Yeah, yes. to look at this, the, the resource map. Look at map 14. So, um, do we need to assign? We have a motion. Uh, well, I second that. Uh, okay, we, we can discuss it in a minute. Oh. So now, question. So, with this motion, we are preparing to send the plan back to the planning commission? No, they oh, have no. to write a report. No. We're just asking, okay. I did, that's why I'm asking for clarification what's about to happen. So we're asking them to write an up-to-date or, or a corrected report based on these changes. And to and look at the map. And to look at the map and understand why they're, you know, why okay. they're stuck now. Okay, okay. so just, if... Just wait, wait one second. I'll answer your question in a second. But if they change the map... Well, it would be a change. They're going to be changes anyway to this plan. So you, at least, at least they're working on the change. And then, you can, then you can, then you can have a public hearing. You can have a discussion about the map, and then the map will be changed on the plan. Yeah. May I ask yes. Since it, since this discussion has indicated that there are obviously two different visions of the, what the public land proposed land use ought to be. Could you just say in the note section, would a compromise be to say in the note section, this proposed land use map is under development? But there's other issues here because they, they, no. they're, okay. supposed to, they're supposed to give us a report. Yeah. I don't know okay. if anybody ever received the Wyndham County, the Wyndham Town Plan. Uh, Eric sent me a copy. And they have a, they have a in, their, in their report, they have a, a sheet of paper there that it points out all the differences in the plan, what was changed, what needed to be changed, and whatever. We never got that. Okay. And that's what the attorney is, is saying to us, is that they never gave us that full report of what the real changes mean. And so let them do that. Let them also work on the map and bring it back to the select board, but let this plan go forward. Okay, okay. okay. 4385B, second paragraph, the second sentence, the 
Planning Commission shall submit to the legislative body at or prior to the public hearing a report that analyzes the extent to which the changed proposal, when taken together with the rest of the plan, is consistent with the legislative goals established in 4302. That is, uh, if, if, if you guys change what you have, then they have to write a new, a new uh, report. New report, and, and then that report, that, that, this is requiring that they write the report, that report is in 4384C, uh, and it, it's all this stuff in you that for the part in you So, does that have to happen before we can adopt a plan? No. Well, it has to happen if they follow the law. It has to happen before, you have to have it before it goes to that hearing, which is, which I, in suggesting that you can now make make December twelfth your your next hearing because you've got to give thirty days notice to all the towns around us. Right. So the planning commission has thirty days to, to get their report to us. Get the report to you. The sooner the better, but they have thirty days. Yeah. And and, and then they they need to work on the map. Uh, not I'm not saying they need to work on the map for that meeting. And, meeting because if they work on the map of the meeting and come with a change map, that meeting on the 12th. No, 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 not for that meeting, not for that meeting, but then that's their first yeah, order. A business. separate action is we right. want them to work on the chapter, on the number the map. 14 map. Before they do the anything else. Yes. Right. Okay, that is a separate thing. Okay, so if we can have that motion. <clears throat> I have uh, Stan and Joe, you have the motion. You have the motion. We made that motion. Okay. Read the motion again, please. Is that, uh, that the, uh, Planning Commission give you a, a 4384C report with all the details required by C and that the, the, they make one of their first businesses to work on the on map number 14, which is the future land use map. The only thing I would add is that they that we need that report by. Right. A due date? They had a due date. No, they I don't know that you can order them that, but I can even put it in there. But if they have to have it before the Well, that's what I'm saying. They have to have it before the vote. Put that in there. Um, this is getting a little nitpicky, I know. Of, of December, now I want to, that's another thing I wanted you guys, there's two things I wanted you to do before you end this meeting. Well, okay, one more time. That has to be done before. That has to be done before December 12th. That has to be done. And not as part of this process, but make as one of your first jobs as a planning commission is to look at this map and get back and, and, and uh, amend it or work on this map. I, I don't know what you want them to do. You want them to work on the map on the right. 14. Yep. That is a separate thing, not dealing with this plan. Because if you do it with that plan, you guys have just blown off all. No, no, we don't want to do that. I, I kind of feel that if we approve the plan with the map as it is and we ask them to change the map it's sort of like a blank check it's like i want to see what the map looks like before i approve it you're not appro you're approving the map that's right there right, 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 you right now you have no choice you have to approve this otherwise you don't you're approve it. Well, I, I like suzanne's suggestion though just modifying the commentary on the, on the map why couldn't you do that? I mean, the note, I, I'm just trying to strike a okay, note. Well, but wait, we have a motion on the floor, so let's deal with the okay. motion. Then we can, we want to add something else, we can do that. Okay. But, but the motion is, is they have to write the report by the 13th, the 12th, whatever the date is. Before the 12th. Before the 12th. Well, we want to be able to read the report before the meeting, correct? <laughs> Well, you, you would hope all, so. But all you can do require them is meet the law. Yeah, I can't, you can't, you can't tell them when they give it to you tomorrow when the exactly. law says they have to have it at the meeting. And okay. we want to instruct them that the first order of business is to look at this map and make revisions or explain to us why the things were done. That's the motion. Okay, explain explain why the colors. Yeah. Okay. okay. So that's the motion. Okay. So let's call the question. I think we had enough discussion on it. So we can move on and then we can deal with maybe putting a footnote someplace as well as that. So so all in favor of the motion say aye. 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 
Opposed? Okay. So that's done. Okay, so now Suzanne, what is your what is your recommendation? So my my thought is take look at the note that's part of the map. Yeah, actually I don't have a note on mine, but that's okay. Okay, it's a note and it says this proposed land use map is a part of the town plan expressing the vision of the plan in general terms. That vision has been in question in this discussion. It's correct. not everybody's aspiration, that is what correct. the scholars are. So why don't you just delete that part? Say something like, it's already in, in here, which is, um, this map is for planning purposes and general reference only, or this proposed land use map is under development or this is, or just delete the note completely, then you've just got a map with some colors on it and really very difficult to understand, notwithstanding the explanations in the, in the description, what these colors mean. But I think this note represents a point of view, but not all of the points of view about this map. I agree. So could you just delete the note? If you delete the note, then you have the map, and it, it's presumed that the map is affected. So if you're not going to, if you if you put a note, if you don't want the map to be what it appears to be, then you got to say what it what you want. Yeah, I, I would. I, I like the first part of yours better. The map is for I, I don't remember exactly, but well, if you, if you just use the last sentence, this plan is for planning purposes right. and general reference only. That's it. That's all. That's all. Does that, does that allow us the flexibility at a future point in time after December 12th for the Planning Commission to look at this map? Yeah, because we're, we're, amended anyway. yeah. Yeah, because we're indicated that they need to go in yeah. and, yeah. and look at the map. Would that, would that help you, Al? Helps me. <laughs> it, help, it helps, but I, I just still struggle with the idea that somehow Stage road with houses along Stage Road is different than Fisher Hill. Right, but are you going to resolve that tonight? No. So we need to find a way to move on. Otherwise, we'll be here until midnight, and we have a deadline to make. And if we don't make the deadline, then we don't want to have a town plan. So. No, we 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 don't. No, you voted on Yeah, we voted on that. Yeah, we voted on that. Neither have made a motion nor did anything with regard to the note. No, the note. So somebody make a motion for the note, or we just forget about it and move on. I like to do this recommendation that it's for plenty of purposes only, whatever the language you have there. What I have to delete all the note except for the last sentence, which says. <laughs> This map is for planning purposes and general reference only. Right. Well, I can live with that. Somebody want to make that motion? Sorry. Kathy, Stan? Any further discussion? All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Opposed. Okay. All right, Bill. Before you we said no. No. Al said no. I'm sorry. Uh, Bill, before we adjourn, you said you wanted us to do something else? I want you to set the. Uh, uh, yeah, I want you to, at the end of this meeting, I want you to do a recess until Friday morning. Right, at 9 o'clock. At 9 o'clock to look at all the changes I made to and make sure that they're the changes you want so that you, that you then vote to approve that plan as right. amended tonight. Right. Okay. And then secondly, I want you to uh, uh, establish, or you can do that day, establish the 12th of December as the next hearing day and that will give us the reason for that it will give us 30 days notice to circulate the plan to the neighboring towns uh, and uh, them a chance to comment and before that December 12th meeting now the, the the timeline and we can discuss the timeline now if you would like the timeline even if it goes to Australian ballot the timeline can be met if on the 12th you don't make any changes to what you have done tonight so if there's anybody out there anybody here wants to make any changes to what you did tonight make it tonight because if you make it on the 12th 
you're not going to make January 15th deadline. I don't have any changes, so I don't know yeah. about but I, mean, I think if anybody has anything, they need to do it tonight. Yeah, I think today is the day. Okay, so that's so, so we're going to be done that's what happened. So I just need you to uh, either now or on Friday uh, pick the uh, next hearing date, which is. Well, why don't, why don't we do it on Friday? Yeah. Yeah. Once we see the, the, the finished document. That's fine. Yeah. Okay? But we need to adjourn. We need a motion to adjourn this this no, recess. recess is needing yeah. to um, Friday 9 a.m. at the town hall. So, uh, okay. Second. Second. All in favor, say aye. 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 Opposed. Ron, you had a last minute. Well, I, I came a few minutes late, but what's the importance of the January 15th deadline? If it's not if it's not included, if it's not approved in, in a year after the final planning commission hearing by law, it, it is it is rejected by the town and it goes yeah. away. Thank you. Yeah. By law. Um, I believe the planning commission hearing was on January 31st. No, it, it was Jan it, it was the hearing was January 15th. You then had a meeting on January 31st at which you made motions, then you had a meeting on February 21st at which you made motions pass it on to the select board, but the, the hearing and the law says the planning commission hearing January 15th. It, it's the hearing. The law says hearing. And things will, things will change depending on what happens um, at the special uh, meeting.